When it comes to dealing with a bed bug infestation, there are typically two approaches, chemical treatments and non-chemical options. Both offer advantages, but it is important to grasp their distinctions in order to make an educated choice. Chemical treatments include the use of insecticides that are particularly formulated to kill bed bugs. These insecticides include potent ingredients that specifically target and eliminate these undesirable nighttime visitors. Professionals often use these approaches since they are effective and provide speedy effects. However, there are some negatives to consider. First, chemical treatments may be expensive. Hiring specialists to administer these treatments might be rather costly. Second, some people may be concerned about the health dangers linked with chemical exposure. Although safe when used appropriately, it is critical to follow all instructions to protect your safety. On the opposite end of the scale, we have non-chemical therapies. These solutions often entail employing natural ingredients or novel strategies to fight bed bugs. They are becoming popular for a variety of reasons. Non-chemical treatments are often seen as environmentally friendly and safe alternatives, lowering the danger of chemical exposure. Furthermore, they are often less costly than chemical alternatives, making them more affordable to individuals on a tight budget. Non-chemical therapies include heat treatments, steam cleansers, mattress encasements, and even DIY cures based on essential oils. These options may be beneficial, especially for lesser infestations or avoiding repeat occurrences. So which choice should you select? It all depends on how severe the infestation is, your money, and your particular tastes. Chemical treatments provide quick and dependable results, but they may be more expensive and pose health risks. Non-chemical treatments provide more environmentally friendly and cost-effective options. Bed bugs are highly tenacious, resourceful, and smart tiny organisms, given the way their bodies are designed, develop, and operate or live on limited nourishment, blood, as well as how they move about and breed. Once bed bugs have invaded your house, it may be tough to manage or prevent their continued development and spread. A nursing female bed bug may produce up to 10 eggs every day. The ordinary bed bug will lay between 600 and 700 eggs before dying. This is a severe hazard and concern since an infestation may rapidly go out of hand in your house or workplace. We've highlighted a few IPM, Integrated Pest Management Procedures, for preventive care of your home or company, as well as required pesticide control and solutions. Finally, the option is yours. Whatever path you choose, be sure to talk with specialists and do extensive research to get the best possible conclusion for your specific case. I hope you found this comparison of chemical versus non-chemical bed bug treatments useful. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to get more fascinating stuff. Stay bug free and sleep well. See you next time. If you want to get rid of bed bugs on your own, click the link in the description. There you will find bed bug traps, mattress encasements, and bed bug sprays. That's all for now. Thank you.